Good morning and welcome to the First Congregational Church of Pelham, United Church of Christ. As you can see, we're not in the sanctuary this morning. We're preparing for coffee house worship at 10 o'clock. We invite you, if you so choose, to join us in August for our next coffee house worship. It would be August 20th. This is an opportunity for us to gather at tables and to share our faith uh, in smaller circles. But we don't want you to feel that you are going today without a blessing. And so we invite you to settle in before we begin our time together, no matter how long or short it may be, let us begin with a time of centering. Thank you, O God, for accepting us as we are. Summon us out. Write your name on our hearts and dwell within us. Our scripture reading this morning is Psalm 148, and I share this morning from Names of God translation. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh from the heavens. Praise God from the heights above. Praise God, all God's angels. Praise God, God's entire heavenly army. Praise God, sun and moon. Praise God, all shining stars. Praise God, you highest heaven and the water above the sky. Let them praise the name of Yahweh because they were created by God's command. God set them in their place forever and ever. God made it a law that no one can break. Praise Yahweh from the earth. Praise Yahweh, large sea creatures and all the ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and fog, strong winds that obey God's command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedar trees, wild animals and all domesticated animals, crawling animals and birds, the sovereigns of the earth and all its people, officials and all judges on the earth, young men and women, old and young together, let them praise the name of Yahweh, because God's name is above all others. God's glory is above heaven and earth. God has given God's people a strong leader, someone praiseworthy for God's faithful ones, for the people of Israel, the people who are, who are close to God. Hallelujah. Our worship series throughout this summer has been Bless Unto Me, an opportunity for us to slow down a little bit, to spend time delving into two things, delving first into our Celtic spirituality, the roots of uh, much of Christianity, and it offers us a time to settle into a different cadence of life. And the other part is to think about blessings, think about the blessings that we receive. And now, as we noted last week, blessing doesn't always mean that we have some favor above someone else. Sometimes it's the blessing of knowing that God is with us in this raw human experience that some days goes just as we want and others days, other days doesn't go at all as we had hoped. And so we begin our time of reflection with a prayer at rising. And this comes to us from Catherine McLean. Bless to me, O God, each thing my eye sees. Bless to me, O God, each sound mine eye, my ear hears. Bless to me, O God, each odor that goes to my nostrils. Bless to me, O God, each taste that goes to my lips, each note that goes to my song, each ray that guides my way, each thing that I pursue, each lure that tempts my will, the zeal that seeks my living soul, the three that seek my heart, the zeal that seeks my living soul, the three that seek my heart. Catherine invites us to ask God to bless to us 
each thing in its ordinary way that God might transform it from what it is to what it may be to how it is an opportunity for us to slow down and to savor the moment. In the Gospel of Luke, we hear Jesus say, notice the lilies, how they grow. They don't wear themselves out with work. They don't spin cloth. But I say to you that even Solomon in all of his splendor wasn't dressed like one of these. One of the ways that we notice the blessings in our lives is to simply take delight in the small things. Everyday objects like a cup of coffee and mine is sitting back there waiting for me. To our pets and every acti everyday activities like washing dishes or taking off our shoes, these each can be an occasion of blessing. Moving through our day with a mantra of bless to me, my, and fill in the blank. This ancient Celtic practice slows us down and hones us in on the beauty of the gifts of life. Have you thought about just savoring a cup of coffee? Mm. Taking in everything from the aroma as it brews to savoring the warmth in your hand as it invites you into something deeper. There is a practice in Judaism, a thousand gratitudes a day, a thousand thanksgivings a day. And it begins the moment we wake up. God, thank you for the waking me this morning. God, thank you for the pillow that has cradled my head. God, thank you for this bed which has held my body and allowed me to rest. You get the idea. In every moment, we have an opportunity for gratitude. Dina Metzger, in her writing, in her own image, uh, shares this. Each day is a tapestry in which threads of broccoli, children, building, planting, and thinking interweave an intimate connection. We can become so focused on our own accomplishments that we will not even see the holy, sacred, healing grace of God present all around us. And so that's what we're invited into this morning. That will be the conversation that happens around our table, to slow down and to be grateful for all of the simple things in life and to notice that when we do, we have many more things to be grateful for. And somehow those things that weigh us down can become a little bit more manageable. And so this week we're invited to be intentional about celebrating all of life, all of creation. So I have two invitations for you this morning. One, I invite you to take time today, a day, a Sunday, a week without rain in the forecast, to go outside and to linger in creation. Allow the song of the birds, allow the beauty of blossom, the green everywhere, to speak to you, to bless you. Perhaps spend a little time quieting things down and notice something that you are usually so busy that you miss. Let it catch your attention and then offer gratitude to God. Gratitude for catching your attention. Gratitude to God for giving you the experience of this day. The other invitation will be a spiritual practice which I will note down below in our comments or in the uh, information for this video. So don't worry about it. I will put it there. And that's a, an invitation for you for this whole week. Our first invitation is for this morning. And so I invite you to take a deep breath, beloved. Take a deep breath and experience the love of God. We're going to leave our time together this morning with your invitation to step out and experience the blessings of this day, to pray for all of us here who will gather at 10 o'clock, and we will be praying for you. Though we may not know your specific prayer requests, know that we will be lifting you 
up to God in prayer. I want to share this. We will offer together a Gaelic blessing. Now, this is a traditional blessing. May the road rise to meet you is about God's blessing for our journey. It is an invitation that our walk would be an easy one with no huge mountains to climb or obstacles to overcome. It alludes to three images from nature, the wind, the sun, and rain. These are all pictures of God's care and provision. The wind is like the Spirit of God, who came as a mighty wind on Pentecost. The sun's warmth is the prayer that reminds us of the tender mercies of God, by which the sun rises and will come to us from heaven, while the soft falling rain speaks of God's provision and sustenance. And finally, we are reminded that we are held safe in God's loving hands as we travel on our journey through life. And so I offer this blessing to you as you go out into your day. May the road rise to meet you, May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm on your face and the rains fall softly upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May you have a blessed day. Thank you for spending time with us and we look forward to seeing you either in person or again virtually.